Hey there YouTube family, we are back. A new car to work on. You remember the Legacy out back that uh, I just rebuilt that H64. Uh, got that thing running and had it running for about 30 minutes. A couple minor issues came up, got those fixed, actually ended up selling it. So it's long gone. Now I can actually reveal what I'm working on. Of course you could see over my shoulder here. I've still got that Outback Sport. There's lots of videos that I've done on that. I'm gonna drop a link for you right up here in the corner so you can get caught up on that car. Another project that uh, hiding way, well that's not really a project. That is the wife's daily driver. That's a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. Yes, you did see me tear apart the uh, headlight on that. We had a minor altercation with another vehicle. Six weeks having that car and uh, so not too happy about that, but it is back. It's looking beautiful. Let me know if you think I should do a review on that. Uh, not really sure if I'm gonna do any modifications for it. It is a brand new car. However, I do have something I've been wanting for a long, long time. Finally got it uh, about a month ago, and you'll see it hiding right there. Yes, that is a 2006 Subaru Forester XT. That's got that uh, nice turbo in it, lots of power, lots of torque. Happy to have this. Got some modifications I wanna do to it. Let me give you a quick rundown of the car. All right, so here it is, that Forester XT. When I got this thing, aside from some minor body damage, the interior on it, is gorgeous let me uh, pop in here real quick get rid of a receipt um, you know a little bit of wear on the seat the driver's seat like you'd expect passenger seat really good shape all the gauges and everything work on it the back seats also uh, doors are locked Back seats also really good shape. I've got a drone sitting in the passenger seat. I do have a tail light bulb that is burned out. I need to replace that. Um, so this is it. Looks real nice. Like I said, few minor things. There's a couple dents on the body. Uh, and of course, we do have the typical, we get that rust that appears on the quarter panels. Planning on getting that fixed within the next year or so. Uh, again, with the 06, we have got the chrome tail lights. We have got, uh, of course, local car club I'm part of, the MySubi page. You might find that on Facebook. Um, again, the rust on the back, and then just a few minor dents on it. Uh, otherwise, not, not bad. No, uh, no chips in the windshield. This was a one owner car, so I am the second owner on this. Guy owned it for, let's see, a 2006, so 14, 15 years he owned that. Uh, I got it, the first thing I did have to do is brakes on it. I didn't film any of that because I was just in a rush to do it because this is my daily driver. And um, so I just wanted to do those real quick. It was a real simple, uh, replace the pads, the front calipers. The caliper pins were not seized, but they were really, really sticky. And so I had to pull those out. I just replaced them, replaced the pins all the way around, took care of that. One of the things I am concerned about, if you look at this, the headlights are in really good shape. There's a little bit of hazing you'll see in them. And uh, we have got a cure for that. One other thing I did want to mention, the fog lights, they are, they work. There's a crack in them but uh, we are gonna replace those eventually. You can see there's some dirt and stuff getting in there. Um, actually, there's almost a hole in that, so I'm surprised the lights actually still work. So uh, let's uh, pop the hood, take a closer look at it. Here we are under the hood. Yep, there is the top mount intercooler and uh, the full shroud. Real clean underneath here. All the plastics are still in place. Uh, I've checked everything on this. Everything works for being the age that it is. Uh, and I believe right around 122,000 miles on it. Uh, you know, a couple of things happen. We're missing a couple of the little clips. But today, my big concern is these headlights because it's getting colder out, which means we're gonna have longer nights. 
and I want to have some better vision down the road which again these aren't that bad but we're starting to see that hazing on them and while I could just fix that and stay true to the 2006 I'm really fond of something a little newer looks exactly the same but yet different anybody who's uh, familiar with Subarus will know the 2008 Forester Sport has the exact same headlights but instead of being chrome they are black so here they are direct from Headlight Depot no they are not OEM Subaru headlights uh, I couldn't find those and when I did find them the guy wanted 700 bucks for some used headlights that were in no better shape than what I have right now and uh, these cost me right about 360 bucks for them I will put a link to them in the description where I found them on Amazon uh, I am not an affiliate I do not get any money off of uh, anything that's sold at this time It'd be nice if that changed in the future these are hard to come by uh, I actually got the last set available on their website so or on their Amazon page so let's open these up now that I finally got them and I'm excited. I've actually been sitting on these for almost a week waiting to get in here because I just haven't had time. And I haven't even opened these boxes yet to see what they look like. These are black. Like I said, these were something that was only on the 2008 Sport models, I believe. Uh, if, you let, if you find out different, let me know. The thing is, these do fit on my 2006, and while it changes the look, they are still virtually OEM. There's, there's no difference between these and the factory ones. There is one change, however, I'm gonna make to them. The uh, factory high beam, is just a single incandescent bulb, halogen bulb, whatever it is. And uh, I want to do a little bit of an upgrade. And so they are going to get some torch beam LEDs. I'll drop a description or drop a link for these down in the description as well. And these are some really nice lights. I did play with these the other day. Uh, these are going to be a direct plug in for the high beam and I'm only doing the high beam and not the low beam because sometimes you will run into an issue where your low beams end up being way way too bright plus if you have a uh, fog light on it or even do LED conversions on your fog lights as well it trips something in the ECU that when you have your fog lights on it'll turn your high beam light on your dash and then when you turn your high beams on where your fog lights go off, that high beam light goes off as well. And it's kind of weird because on some models where you've got a single bulb that's uh, high beam, low beam as one bulb, it's actually dimmer with your high beams on than it is with your low beams. And it's not anything wrong in the wiring, it's just something with the way the computer reads the voltage to it. I've tried different things, putting in the little, uh, the, the regulators which make it think it's got the higher draw that a standard bulb would have because the LEDs draw less current and put out more light. So doing the conversion on the low beams, I'm not gonna do. Maybe in the future, I'll try that, see what happens with this because this is a split high and low beam. And when you turn your high beams on, the low beams stay on as well. It just shuts the fog lights off. Maybe a little bit different in the circuitry. I know on my 2003 Outback Sport, my bug eye, if I put LED headlights in, I don't have an issue, but the second I change over those fog lights to LEDs, it trips that high beam light all the time that when I turn them on, it thinks the high beams are on. I turn my high beams on where the fog lights go off, the high beam light goes off and I have less light. So that was a conversion I did. I think I'm gonna change them back to just a regular uh, halogen bulb. But for now, let's get going with these. So to start this off, couldn't be any simpler. I'm going to uh, get my new lights ready. And 
This is just so easy. Just have to get a hold of that plug, pop it right off. And remember, your high beam is always the inboard one. Farthest to the outside of your vehicle is gonna be your low beam. And I'm sure with LEDs, it doesn't matter if I touch that, but I'm gonna to try to avoid touching those parts. Lines right up, slides in, locks. We plug our two harnesses together. Now, if your Forester happens to have some pretty decent paint like this one does, and you want to keep it that way, here's a tip for you, is taking some painter's tape, and we're going to come up here onto the bumper, or I'm sorry, onto the quarter panel just above the bumper, and we're going to put two or three pieces of masking tape, painter's tape, whatever you have, something to protect it that won't leave a residue. And there's a reason for doing this, and that is on this generation of Forester, and probably a few of the others as well, to remove the headlight, there is a bolt right about here that you have to access. And the only way to access is, is by pulling the bumper off. And also that uh, metal lip that you saw on the bottom side as well sits underneath that bumper. So we're gonna start out doing that, and then, I'm gonna grab a pry tool. We're gonna to just come right up underneath here, get a hold of that inner fender well. So we can pop it out past the bumper. Because I can't really show you, but right here, there's a plastic push pin that you need to get out of there. And it's not always, let me find it here. Not always the easiest thing to get to. In fact, I could probably turn the wheel and make that easier on me. So let me do that real quick. There it is, that's out. So that will allow the bumper to come loose here. So we got that out and that's why we put the tape here because you get this tab that's gonna wanna come up and hit that. So it's just gonna help protect your paint. Now that we've gotten the bumper disconnected on the sides, we need to come up in here, pull these little push pins that do the grill, and then the push pins behind it for the upper half of the bumper. So let's knock those out real quick. Now those are all out, so the upper half of the bumper will just pull out. But I think I want to pull the bottom half of the bumper loose. That'll make it a little easier to get in here with the bumper completely off. So I'm going to pause the recording real quick because it's just a couple of tabs on each side and the plugs for the fog lights. So I got all of them pulled off of here. Now it's probably a good idea to wedge something like a screwdriver or maybe leave it a couple of the clips on the top because there's one right here in the middle. And when you pull that, if everything else is released, this will literally fall right off on you. And let me show you what I mean. And it just comes right on down. The only other thing I gotta do, I'm gonna unplug my uh, harnesses for my fog lights and I can slide this whole bumper right out of the way. You'll also notice I put a shipping pad down on the ground to help protect the bumper. And there's two. And that is all there is to it. All right, so now we're gonna get in here and right up underneath the edge, it's actually way further forward. Maybe hard to see, but there's a bolt right there that you need to get out. There's that bolt, set that aside. And then you've got one way back on this corner and two more right here. And with any... Now with that headlight out, we're just gonna repeat the process on the other side and then we'll be ready to put the new headlights in.
All right, so now that I've got those headlights replaced, they look gorgeous. So we're gonna shut the lights off in my garage here and we're gonna give them a rundown, make sure they work. Again, I replaced those high beams with LEDs. So we're going to uh, see if they're brighter. In fact, we're even gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna try and get the camera back in uh, about the same angle so I'm not looking right directly on from the light and uh, then hopefully we can kind of compare them and see if it's any brighter. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. So let's see what we've got. So a lot cleaner look. We're gonna get a good close up of it here real quick. Um, but so much cleaner look and I love, love how the black really finishes that up. Um, those, those high beams, those LEDs, I can't wait to try those out at night. Sad part is now I've got to pull this bumper back off and uh, I'm going to do something to try and raise it and fill the gaps up here at the top and we'll see what happens. Until next time, be sure that uh, you click that subscribe button. Love to have a few of you along. Click the bell as well, be notified of future videos. And uh, if there's anything you wanna see, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, try and, and get some suggestions for future videos, things that you might wanna see happen, uh, some suggestions for modifications I can make. Stock engine, not sure if I wanna make any changes there. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.